Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighters League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Lamplighters League blind playthrough. It is time for our next mission as we are going through the world map. And I have looked into the character dilemma. I haven't really read deep into it, but I wanted to know if you can do two missions at once, sort of have two teams that can perform there. Unfortunately, the reality is you cannot. So more characters only give you a deeper character pool um, and give you the opportunity to essentially experience other ways of playing the game. Now, since this is a blind playthrough and I want to learn as much uh, as possible uh, from the game, we're going to still rescue all of the characters uh, and we're going to mix up the teams a little bit so that we're not uh, only playing with the same three characters for the entirety of the playthrough. Um, I will, however, focus kind of on an A team, uh, so to speak, and uh, so far my set characters are Anna, Sophie and Ingrid. Uh, these two seem incredibly strong. I'm just requiring a good DPS or a mage of sorts that can help us uh, with crowd control. So we got a sniper down here, um, the sharpshooter, whom we could recruit. But it would come at quite a hefty price tag because Nicastro would make progress. On the other hand, uh, my thought process was if we're never really getting the sniper in the first place, then um, we cannot judge whether or not she's good or not. So uh, Purin, uh, Purnima is going to be our target. Uh, might not be the optimal decision from a playthrough perspective, because typically um, if you can't really add additional characters uh, and all they do is um, offer side grades, then at least to me it appears that you're better off just trying to counter the three factions. But I might be wrong and might be missing it. Anyways, we're going in, steal a supply cache and uh, recruit Purnima Rana. Uh, who is the sniper and Isaac is going to be our best buddy on this one Purima uh, might however be the right choice going forward uh, where we do have uh, we would have six characters so two different teams so we're going to mix them up in the next episode so let's go that is on the court. join us or the court will kill you I wonder what the answer will be Good, time for us to start finding that sniper. Look what the cat dragged in. Out of the way. Good, one easy kill here. We're getting a shadow mode. I told you, you always need to look uh, on every corner. Good, Anna Sophie. Now I think, hmm, difficult. Good, so far they are not seeing us. Let's wait until both of them are somewhat in one line. Hopefully they won't spot us out. Cool. Worked like a charm. Wait for me. Good. 
Good, we somehow need to hit this guy up there. Fantastic. Oh, are you talking to me? Never mind. Okay. Uh, everybody gets inspired. There you go. Secondly, you and you both get motivated, so there is extra AP. And you are knocked down. Cool. It's pretty damn good for a healer. Um... Shoot him out of cover. Not exactly knocking him down, but more importantly, opening him for a couple of really, really nice shots. Ingrid moves up. Kills this guy. Follows up uh, with a nice little push kick. That was close enough. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there is still someone else. Okay, all we need to do is not stand too close Isn't that a lovely to her. Sight? And we're sticking and moving. That's even a kill. Almost. That's almost a kill. Never mind. How does he start to explode and deal fire damage when he's on the ground? I think this is oil, so we don't want to really use that. Good. That's a nice little hit. Unfortunately, we're still burning. Stick and move. Blind her. Oh, that's a nice little 50% chance to miss. And we put out our own fire. Burning is removed. That's almost no damage. Hmm. Removes burning from our friend. Half cover. You're telling me that this here... Okay, apparently it is. Don't have the push shot, that's unfortunate. Won't end well for you. Creating stress. Yeah. He got some stress, but not a lot. Getting hot. Ouch. That's a lot of... Oh, that's a lot of damage. What happens next is all on you. 
Okay, even more damage. We're not playing this one very well, not yet. Good, that's a kill. We are nicely coming in with a bit of a slap. I like our odds a bit better now. Moving over here. Anna Sophie moves out and then we simply begins to heal, to. fully recharging signatures, uh, signature abilities and so on and so forth. Heals herself. You stay away from me. Bit of a knockdown. Isaac lenses uh, mm, that. And... Nah, I think we're okay. Might as well just overwatch. Not that it does a... Not that it does a lot. Oh wow. Continuing to burn. It is crazy. These, uh, these guys are absolutely crazy. That was the best the court can muster. Okay, I should have potentially switched uh, to that should keep us going. Not to rounds, uh, to round combat. Wow, it it is ticking down so fast. Divine Mother, guide my hand. Good, we're healing ourselves. Unfortunately, used a lot here. And everything started with that mummy just exploding. Many of the other things really worked out well, but an exploding mummy in the middle of our team, that was too much. What do we have here? Come on, Locke sent us to get you out of here. How do you Fantastic. Do you? Guild certified sniper with the sanguine club. Good. We need bandages. Or a second wind ability would be even better. A souvenir. All right, Pura Nam, uh, poor Nima certainly can climb up, right? Yeah, she can. Right to it. Won't be reading this. Scripts are too small. 
Okay, up there is a second wind. That's not bad because we could use it for Anna Sophia. Who in return this might just put that out there? Good, we got we got our healing ability back and also our individual bombs, which is good. So They should buy you So I think we do have bandages here. Very good. Uh, in this case, drop that. Never take the know. bandages. Purnimar takes a frag grenade. wants you dead very badly. What did you do? Oh, it's all a misunderstanding, really. But the line must be drawn somewhere, I suppose. Why not? Could we found a bit of ether? That's not bad at all. Oh, okay. Well, that's a lot of uh, them. Good. We'll get there in a second. That also explains that extra second wind. My sister and brother showed me how to do this. Almost got it. Super difficult to get multiple uh, of those prep abilities off. Uh, the mummy is a problem. Let's first of all do this here. Let me help. And see what the sniper can do. All right, so she got trick shot signature ability to choose location uh, to uh, choose two locations on the map uh, to path Prima's shot. All targets along the path take damage. Uh huh. Okay. Basic attack. Ooh, well, that's a lot of damage. Uh, that's basic damage and I mean overwatch mm, That's not bad That's actually not bad at all This guy has a lot of 
armor, which is why they take little damage. So that's not uh, not a uh, not a bad idea to use uh, that. That's also good. Um, how about we're giving you and you, you an action, and then suggestion it knock both be. down if they are burning again. If if this thing explodes again, then I can still. Uh, consider what I would want to do for now. We're going with one knockdown. I have to do this on my own, I will. Triple hit. And hitting up there as well. Okay, cool. Ingrid. Slick and move will give us enough time to move over to here. And thanks to Killer Instinct, we got a free AP out of it as well, so nothing is spent so far. Good. Armor shredded down to five. That's what you get. Go on, hit them again. You couldn't keep up. Unfortunately, risen. Not so fast. Nice hit. That, on the other hand, was not so good. Eighty percent shot, unfortunately a miss. Let's continue over here. That is exactly what I was hoping for. Took a bit of overheat damage, but wow, we're dealing a lot of damage overall. Cooldowns are reduced. Fantastic. And I think we're just going to put our own fire out. One down. I said one down. That was your last there we go. And a knockdown. Okay, so removes speed off also resets cooldowns. We are more than this fight. Did it reset our own cooldown? No. Motivate is still on cooldown. That's the last of them.
Good. Everybody took some damage, so I'm wondering. I think it is worthwhile to there simply is hope. heal. There is hope. And we even got some self healing out of it. Uh, yeah, if we're, f if we're finding bandages, we're going to bandage, uh, bandage, uh, Anna Maria. Haven't really used a lot of ultim uh, ultimates or signature abilities with the others, uh, yet. Just a bit of a shame. Not bad. I'll take it. Into... Poison bomb. That's, that sounds interesting. Salvation in a box. I'll take this. More supply crates. Great. And we got an interesting box here, but apparently no way of opening it, right? No. That's unfortunate. Okay, not sure what we were fighting for here. I was honestly hoping that we had a bit more impactful stuff that we could uh, take. But that was apparently not the case. Anna Sophia uses the second wind, regains her abilities, which is going to help us. Whatever it takes. One down there. Should cause some trouble. I hit four. Come on. Please. That would be so good. See it? I just figured it must be four. Want to have a go, do you? Well. Almost. Almost got it. Sanguine club rates get you. <laughs> nice. This won't take long. Do you see how it's done? Do you see? Easy. I think uh, we're going to get reinforcements again. All right, uh, yeah, let's move up. Someone's teleporting in, yeah. Too late, buddies, too late. It's too late to apologize. Clear 
Bring the pipes. Move, move, and overwatch. There you go. All right, more Overwatch. Let's see what the enemy brings. Sophia moves over here. End of turn. Yep, come on. Nice little armor shred. Hit, hit. I don't think so. Yep, one of them immediately got killed. That's a funny ultimate. Well, you're competent at least. Well, sure. I'm with the Sanguine Club. Oh, I was. But I'm damn good, is the point. Moves to here. <laughs> Did you see that? Triple hit. And I think we're done. This Bam. is really all we're getting up to. Don't wander. Listen, comparably this easy, way. right? Nothing? It's open. The door is open. Hurry. I'll give this to Mr. Luck when we return. Into Frag grenade. Hmm. Still haven't fully figured out what Intel is uh, being used for. You need to do. Uh, you need to use it in order to put uh, your agents on those research missions. But the whole point that I'm wondering is: okay, fair enough. So you do the research missions, right? Good, and then you can theoretically recruit additional characters, but since character recruitment doesn't really do you any good, then why would you do it in the first place? It seems a bit abs absurd. Yeah, maybe there's going to be something later in the playthrough where multiple characters will be helpful. Maybe situation where you can bring larger teams we got 10 skill points which is I think a nice way of uh, the game to acknowledge that a new agent should also get skill points we now have Purnima the Indian hardcore sharpshooter Self buff, gain one AP. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not helping her a lot because she needs two AP. But you can upgrade it and then you can get two AP. And that would be good. 
The Whispers. Uh, AoE 3, range close. While in the Void Hazard, this agent deals plus 20%. Hmm. To our teammate, uh, refunds. Well, it's not a bad ability. I mean, she's using it all the time, right? Sure, let's do that. And the 20% extra damage. Hmm. Well, I think we're just going to discard it. But we got some we got some interesting hands. So, minus one threat is what we've got. And we got more supplies, which is good. We'll have to move fast. There is another agent called uh Celine. Could be the breakthrough we've been waiting for. And more stuff. Oh, another one of uh, these missions. In state, as a lead on the Persephone, and its mysterious point of origin. <laughs> I like the horror. They re are really doing a decent job with that. Ah, more than decent, and actually a really, uh, a really good job. So, boss, is that Marteau Industries tip your agent dug up any good, or what? It's quite promising. Our new source is sick of doing Marteau's dirty laundry. She's decided to air it. Instead. So, where does Marteau keep his metal? She didn't know anything about Persephone, but she can lead us to where it's made all the same. Let me recall Marteau's crossroads network. Beacons, relays, transmat pads, they all require precise coordinates. Instantly transmitting a living person across the globe has a narrow margin of error. Every time someone enters or exits the crossroads, the coordinates are logged in a company archive, where our new friend's ex-fiance now works. She impressed upon me that Marteau prefers his domestics to be single, and the young man preferred a promotion. Yeah, poor girl. But since Marteau probably uses the crossroads to get to his foundry, you're thinking the coordinates to the place will be in that archive. Exactly. Okay. But it won't be filed under greatest secrets, comma, mine. Unfortunately not. Agents, you'll need to grab all of Marto's transmaterialization logs. We can comb through the data back here at the hideout, wherever he travels to the most. That's where we'll begin our search for... Okay, interesting. Let's take a look. We got three ether. And that can be invested either into significantly increasing the chance of uncommon hands to be drawn and then go for that extra hand, but that all requires KA uh, dust, whatever that means. Alternatively, lances into level four. I think that's what we're go uh, going to do. The passive buffs on that level are too good to pass them by. Yeah, reload ability cooldowns reduced by one. Uh, that is something I think that we're going to give to our healer. Because she needs cooldown reduction. Yeah, we're going, we're going to do that next. Now we got six agents. Let's take a look at Purnima. Uh, she got a passive ability. Attacks made uh, with high ground uh, gain 25% crit chance. So we really want to always get her to high ground. Uh, she has trick shot, which is good. And uh, we do have a self buff. Punima becomes invisible. Applies mark to all enemies up 
to 12 tiles away. That's not bad. I like the idea of uh, invisibility for her. And she deals an absurd amount of damage. Upon using a reload, uh, she becomes inspired. Better mark. What does she have here? Kill shot. On uh, on a miss, the target is grace for 50%. On hitting a mark target, she regains AP. I see. So uh, the combination is become invisible, mark all enemies, then shoot them, regain AP. Um, attacks against marked enemies, reduce cool, uh, cooldown of kill shot uh, by one. What's the cooldown here? We don't know. Uh, kill shot 2, ranged ability on a missed target. Okay, hitting. Plus 30% crit chance. On hitting a marked target or killing any target, poor Rima gets plus 1. So I wonder if uh, killing a marked target then gives you 2 AP back. Hmm. That's not too bad. Passive ability, Purnima gains 1 AP, can... Upon receiving a buff, Purnima gets 1 AP, can be activated one time per round. That's not bad either, if you then put Bless on her regularly, that essentially means she gets extra AP for free, right? Better trick shot up to three locations. Fair. Takes the first enemy that moves uh, through the um, through with a hostile action, shreds 10 arm, ar uh, armor, increased AoE size. And then here two enemies and since she deals a lot of damage it's not even that uh, bad. So she might be a good agent, she might be a good agent, but for now I want cooldown reduction so upon killing an enemy we're getting cooldown reduction and next up here commitment Purnima taking the first ability because I haven't decided which agent to skill yet. I'm going to decide that uh, soonish uh, because what I realize is we definitely don't have enough skill points for everyone. It's not going to happen. What are the next most important uh, things? We can't upgrade our weapons. More stress reduction is okay. I think uh, the passive ability here isn't bad. Ingrid's crit uh, reduces uh, her cooldowns by one. That is good. So getting there would be helpful. The other uh, one would be 50% chance to reduce ability cooldowns. Um, so that's a 15% additional chance here, commitment. We're going to decide that next uh, turn. For now, we're uh, just getting the melee Overwatch 2. So these two characters really, really strong. Unfortunately, we can't really order them. Uh, now we can't order them. That's unfortunate. But we got... Once we got this here and this here, then I think we almost got everything. What else does she have here? Plus one AP when she uses uh, an ability um, or uh, consumable to heal teammates. Uh, she only has consumables or her uh, signature ability. So essentially that would make her signature ability free. 
And the bleeding, I don't, I don't know um, what to think about uh, bleeding yet. Let's see what uh, the world event is that we're getting. None. You're a very sweet girl. Interesting. Hello, love. Pretty much chills up there. Nothing happens on the world map. So you can see Nicastro. There's a lot of progress. So. Um, defeating the sign will give three extra ether. Both rewards, including greatly reduced threat. Yeah, we we have killed Strum or Mato, I think it was. I will counter this. I will counter that next. Also, Amor Shred Talisman is the right thing to do. Uh, we'll figure out uh, what we're going to do. Um, what is uh, Celestine? Hmm, that's an interesting mission as well. Sign one of our agents. I think Isaac is going to do it this time. Oh, and we got something over here. Search exposition, another special mission. Uh, Anna Sophia is Remember, going to do that. Trust no one. Because we're going to take a few new agents onto the next mission. I'm thinking about Eddie, Latif, and uh, Purnima. All three of them so far have been on missions, but not really were shining so they are fighting for the right to get a couple more uh, skills unlocked uh, but that will happen in the next episode thanks a lot for watching guys appreciate uh, your viewership if you like uh, what you're seeing leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode bye bye